hello everyone today we discuss or learn about the bring object of bringer myself sandeep vidate today we discuss the content like bidding methods of bringer major bring objective research center of the crop of bringer see one by one first bidding method first that is pure line selection second pedigree method third bulk method fourth back crossing method fifth heterosis bidding sixth mutation bidding seventh resistance bidding these are the bidding method uh, for development of good quality varieties of bringer one pure line first method is pure line selection method in this method first definition of pure line pure line is the progeny of a single cell fertilizer homozygous plant or homozygous individual pure line improvement is adapted to improve heterozygous or heterogeneous foundation stocks and a result varietal improvement in is a possible the development of variety by using the pure line of bringer that is first pusa purple long second co1 the pusa purple long is important that is from bhatia cultivar in punjab region fruits long shine skin early maturity second one is co-1 its duration is 160 days fruits are oblong and medium size with pale green in color next third important variety is pan samrat which is developed from the pan nagar okay then next pusa purple cluster then next important method is pedigree method this method was adapted to develop material as well as variety from high yield earliness quality and resistance to pest disease and stress condition in this method single plant selection is followed up to your five or your six generations and in advance generations the generation families are selected on the basis of their phenotypic performance the variety which is developed by by using the pedigree method in bringer crop that is first pusa kranti it is cross between pusa purple long into hyderpur into wine giant varieties next one plant medium tall upright erect and less seed these are the importance characteristics of pusa kranti culture next one bulk method this method consists of growing large populations in each generation and harvesting the seeds in bulk and planting a sample of seed in the following year no selection is made in f2 and bulk population grown up to f5 or f6 number of number of selection is made in f2 and bulk population grown up to Five, F five or F six generations. These are important point. At the end of the bulking period, individual plants are selected and evaluated in a similar manner as in the pedigree method. Next, back cross method. In the back cross method, the hybrid and the progenies in the subsequent generations are repeatedly back crossed to one of the parents. this method in all the selection of two parents where one is a recurrent that is agronomic and the other is a non recurrent that is donor parents means <coughs> back cross means f1 which is cross with either of its parents which is recessive or dominant the f1 population is grown in row and tested for resistance this method is best executed in self fertilized crop than the cross pollinated crop and is usually applied to transfer resistance characteristic control by major genes in cultivar the next heterosis breeding method it is the superiority of f1 hybrid over both the parents in terms of an increased vigor size growth rate yield and number of other characteristics emasculation is done on birds which are add up about to open on the next day morning normally single long style flowers are selected for crossing after emasculation the flowers are covered with butter paper bag or butter paper cover and pollination is then done on the next day morning 
The varieties are Arkanavni, developed by IIHR Bangalore. It is a cross between IIHR 22-1 into Supreme. Its fruits are all and free from bitterness, skin attractive, deep purple, flesh soft, white with few seeds. Yield that is 650 to 700 quintal per hectare. It is highest yielding variety in India. That is Arkanavni. Next one COBHI. That is Coimtur Binjal Hybrid variety. It is a cross between EP445 into CO2. The fruits are medium size, oblong, and purple, deep in color. Yield potential is 55 to 60 tons per hectare. Next important method is mutation breeding method. In this method, we develop the PKM 1 variety. It is developed by TNU University. Okay. The next resistant breeding method in that method brinjal like any other vegetable crop is susceptible to number of diseases, pest and root knot nematodes. These are the uh, number of scientists develop this method by resistant breeding method that is Chakrabadya and Choudhury in 1975. Chakrabadya and Choudhury in 1975 reported that this method Swaminathan and Srinivasan in 1971. And Yadava et al. in 1975. Some research center for development of new variety, new cultivar by Brinjal. First, World Vegetable Center at Taiwan, then Indian Institute of Horticulture Research, that is IIHR, that is Bangalore, Indian Institute of Vegetable Research, IIVR, at Varanasi, Maharashtra Hybrid Seed Company, Maiko Jalna, the National Research Center of Plant Biotechnology. That is NRCBP, NRCPB, New Delhi, Main Vegetable Research Station, that is TNUAT, that is Faizabad, Uttar, Uttar Pradesh, then Vegetable Research Center at Pantanagar, Division of Vegetable Science, IRI, New Delhi, Vegetable Research Station at Hyderabad, Vegetable Research Scheme, MAVU, Parbani, Maharashtra. Main Vegetable Research Station at Anand and last one Vegetable Research Station at Junagadh, Gujarat. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you all of you.